This is AIR, Artists in Residence Broadcasting, coming to you once a week from New York City. Well, hello, I'm John Cullum, and this is my wife, Emily Frankel, and we're going to talk... I like talking with you. You do? Yeah. Well, 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 because what? you're very knowledgeable. Oh, really? <laughs> well, here's what I'd like to talk about. What? When we turn on the TV at night, we want to watch a movie. Right. Well, as soon as I get an old movie, John Cullum goes, boom, <laughs> boom. He's glued to the camera. Well, they made good movies back in those days. Oh, John, you were a nut about old movies. Well, of course, Not it only reminds that, me of my childhood. Yeah, but you know what you do? You act while the actors are acting. And I'm, here's John. I'm going to be an imitation of John. Okay, There's I'm watching Harry you. Carey. Is that his name? Harry, Harry Carey on TV, and John is like this. <laughs> well, that's pretty good, Emily. That's a pretty good imitation of John imitating the actor on, on screen. So yeah. Why do you love them so much? Well, I, I, you know, all, we were all brought up on 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 movies. Harry Carey was a was a famous. Uh, uh, he was uh, the son of a famous actor. That's right. I, I knew that, uh, but I never knew anything that his father did except. And Harry Carey, um, I thought he was a, a cowboy. Um, and but he then, was a do everything guy. Yes, I know. And in the old movie that we were watching the other day, he was he played a, a white hunter, and Clark Cable played that. How many times did he do it? And who was the English actor who played in Solomon's Mines? And uh, uh, you know, oh yeah, yeah, all those things can you can trace that right back to Harry That was the guy that married Jean Simmons. That's right. That's right. John. Yes. Then we watched Bob Hope and Paulette Goddard. And you were doing Bob Hope. I mean, <laughs> Not as well as Bob. But you are you are a very you are a very talented actor. I no, like you. I'm you, just you, an you imitator. Might, you might I'm be able imitator. to earn a living as an actor. Yeah, I could fool people into thinking I'm somebody. But anyway, we we both like old movies. Oh, that was a funny movie. And and you know we we watch we don't. Um, uh, we don't use uh, certain stations that most people do to get films. So we uh, use the things that from TMC, the, the, the Turner classic movies, and the classic movies are all old. And then sometimes know? we hunt around and we see films that have a one-star rating. Yes. Films that have a one-star rating can be fascinating. Absolutely. You could Particularly be. for John, because he's acting. Well, no, that. I like to figure out, what made, what made this so bad? <laughs> and, uh, and You know what? What? You should have directed a movie. Well, I kind of directed mine, but I didn't. I, I wanted to direct the one that I wrote. Algernon. Yeah, but I never, I, and I should have. Well, but we we met a girl, a Canadian girl, who had done a movie that we didn't really like, but she was all set to be John's producer. And what she produced was money from oil wells that her father was in. Not enough money. Not enough money. And then, of course, she could produce it in Canada, so you had to get a Canadian director. You had to get a Canadian writer. And, and then they had to be rewritten. Yeah. He added scenes, which John later took out. Well, I must admit I used one that was very good. And Charles Durding was in your movie. That's right. Charles almost walked out because it, the, it was a pretty crude production. We did the whole scene with Charles, and, and uh, the, uh, they sent it to a, a cheap uh, editor, and it ruined the, the film, and we had to redo it. Do you remember that? Oh, you I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just... One one's own projects yeah. are your, one's babies. That's right. How many years did I spend on ten at least ten you years? Well, that's okay. That was a good sure was. good spending of one's time. Yeah. on yeah. your own movie. Yeah, and um, and you wanted to do once a movie about my accident. You were going to do a movie about me recovering from my accident. A, a short. A, yes, I wanted to do that, and I, in fact, I wrote one. It was too. Um, well, I'm, we won't go too well, much in that. <laughs> this is a behind-the-scenes discussion of 
wonderful projects that have to do with movies, but we didn't do them. Right, and uh, so don't feel sorry. We don't. We don't regret having thought about them. No, and don't feel sorry for us. It's because like we used to go and, sh and look at uh, boats and very expensive cars because it was fun to, to think about to it, think, but we like, never gee, intended we, to buy them. Well, next time you have an idea for a movie, we will do it. I'm okay. going to thank you for being John Cullum. Well, thank you, Emily. Thank you, John Cullum. Yeah, I'm, you can give me a kiss. You're my best advocate. Give can me. you spare one? Mwah. Thank okay. you, Em. So thank you for watching John explain why he loves old movies. <laughs> wasn't too good an explanation, but I enjoyed telling him it. So Emily. we will see you next, next week. week. This is AIR. See you next week.